Hey, welcome guitar players and traders. It's John from Playing Trade Guitars here with another edition of On The Bench. And I've got something very special for you today, a 1979 Fender Stratocaster. 1979 represented 25 years of continuous production of the Stratocaster model with some changes over the years. Drop a comment and let us know what you think of the features and tech specs and what you think of 70s strats in general. I love that big fat headstock and I love the ash body on this one. Wait till you see what we have in store. Somebody's cool 70s styling. With this style case, we have four latches on the front, which will flip and wait till you see the finish and condition of this guitar. Oh my goodness. Amazing cherry burst on an ash body. Look at the wood grain fly over here. Perloid pick guard, original single coil pickups. Truss rod by this point has moved up top. We'll take a look at that. Our good old top view here. There's that big 70s Fender Stratocaster headstock. Glossy maple fretboard. Here's a look at that back, so beautiful. Something characteristic of 70s strats, you'll see here. Three point plate on the bolt-on neck, three screws instead of four. And that beautiful ash body. Look at that wood grain, tiger stripes. All right, check this out. Original paperwork, hang tag, We've got the mail-in warranty, tremolo spring envelope, inspection tag, original trim arm, ashtray bridge cover. Super cool. It looks like only two parts which may have been replaced. It looks like we have the original nut and looks like one maybe screw that was replaced at one point. But yeah, all the cool docks that come with it. Let's get it out of the case and on the bench. Ready to be disassembled, inspected, commented on, ridiculed, praised. It's gonna be a lot of praise today though. Look how beautiful. Love that headstock. Just a few minor dings. These are meant to be played after all. Fender Micro Neck Adjust Fender logo. And the cool thing about that F Fender style logo is it transfers up here to the tuners, which are really sharp on that chrome. Nice close look at the neck. I love the little bit of green crud in the volume. Somebody working their finger for so many years on that volume. You don't see it on the tone knobs. Five-way pickup selector switch. All right, so my game plan is to take the strings off and then start disassembling this guitar top to bottom and give you a close look at everything. Let's do it. Definitely some beefy strings, probably 11 gauge. So we'll start by taking this back panel off. Definitely a smoker's guitar. And let's see what's going on down here. They've got the trim blocked, I can show you. Blocked meaning they've got a couple pieces of wood stuck down there. And you can see how much tension they have on these screws. So they've got all five springs in and then they've got these screws nearly all the way in. I wanna show you something on the nut here with respect to the strings. The original nut is in the case. This is a replacement nut. And if you can see, now I know for sure these are heavier gauge strings because this low E has actually been filed out. So I'm gonna definitely preserve these thicker, newer strings here that the guitar is set up for. All right, let's see what kind of lead wires we're working with as we lift this up. Wowie, is this cool. All right, so quite a bit of oxidation. Lots of corrosion on the pots. It's hard to read. It's a 250K pot. We'll brush that with some contact cleaner soon. Man, this thing is really corroded in here. Just look at the pickups. 016730, black bottom pickups. So a lot of corrosion, I'd like to clean that up as much as possible. Here's something funny, I don't know if it came from the factory like this. This spring was totally missed by this screw. That's pretty shoddy if it did, because that's about to just boing, burst out of there. Here's a look at that body cavity. Got a green sticker marked F in there. Routes for the pickups, channeling for the wires, pretty deep route here, the ground wire. Insulating what, carbon paint or something. We can really almost just blow the oxidation out of there, but I'm sure those pots are going to be messy. This spring, I definitely want to address and fix this. All 
All right, so now I've got that spring safely housed like its counterparts. It was just off to the side. I bet the manufacturer just did that wrong. That's so goofy. All right, so we're gonna get to work on some of this oxidation and just start brushing what I can away. And then definitely gonna need some contact cleaner because that oxidation is everywhere. And see if I can act like an archeologist here and uncover the, oh, now I can read the pot codes, 013446, 250K. So the oxidation is really coming right off. It's just kind of, and now I can see a code here, R1378409. So that's 78. So this was the pots manufactured in 78. In white, there's handwritten markings on the back of the pickups, but they're pretty hard to read. 8168 possibly but I'm just brushing away some of the oxidation. There's quite a bit of it here. And all that is gonna cause noise. If it's not already, I'm sure. Can you guys make out what that says? 81687 maybe? And then over here, 013446, 250K. Everything looks to be completely original on this pick guard, that's for sure. Gonna work these knobs back and forth. This was definitely due for a good cleaning, that's for sure. Same with the five-way. I like the perloid pick guard that they came with. It's pretty cool. All right, look at the difference. So much cleaner. Here you can see the seven eight two on this pot. So it's seven eight, and there's a seven eight at the bottom of that cap. So seventy eight would be the date code on these. All right, nothing a little contact cleaner can't fix. All right, oxidation just like a whole lot cleaner. So one thing about these later 70s, the material that they use in the pick guards change. So definitely there's not as much shrinkage as you would see with an older strat in terms of reassembling the pick guard, more stable plastic, whatever it is they used. There you can see the housing, some oxidation in there as well. High gloss maple. Probably when they changed this nut, they introduced a small nick in pulling the old nut out. Not a big deal. Fender micro neck adjust with a patent number and three screws. Let's take this off and see if we can get a date or any other indication from the neck. So these are like slug bolts, not screws. Much thicker than other strat screws. Oh, and here is a normal screw. So they've got that fatter bolt on the third contact point at the bottom of the triangle. All kinds of fun stuff in here. Here's that 70s style fender neck. Higher gloss maple. Give you an idea of the radius. Pretty low frets at this point. Obviously no truss rod up here anymore because by this point we got this big old fat bullet truss rod. Here's a lined inspection mark. There's a big slug here. A few inspection marks. Dale, looks like that's probably the inspector. It's kind of cool. So that's what's inside a 1979 neck pocket. All right, so I'm gonna take a few final measurements of this guitar before we plug it in and play it. Start with some pickup readings. Pickups were 7.5 in the bridge, six in the middle, and 5.9 in the neck. Nine pounder, about one and five eighths at the nut, standard 25 and a half scale length. All right, so a success so far. We've disassembled the strat. We're putting it back together. I'm gonna to put the strings back on. We'll tune it up and see how it sounds.
right, guys, it's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this look at a 1979 all-original Fender Stratocaster. It'll be the 25th anniversary of production Stratocasters. Make sure you hit like on this video and drop a comment. What do you think about this Stratocaster? I think I can't believe the condition that it's in. I'm so lucky to be able to get my hands on it. Until next time, I'm John with Play and Trade Guitars, where we play it and trade it. See you next time.